to be up there in the clouds, to really feel that it's happening, it's, it's very surreal. I think once you've got the bug for flying, I think it's, it grabs you and there's, there's nothing you can do, it's just addictive. It's the freedom, isn't it? It, it? It's an awesome thing and it's a privilege that not everyone can have or do. Once you've experienced flight, then uh, you, know, you are bitten by the bug. The very first time that you solo a light aircraft when the instructor gets out and you look across and the controls are moving and there's nobody next to you, it's fantastic. About 15 years ago, I had a very serious motorcycle accident. I managed to uh, throw myself over a dry stone wall in France and down a ravine doing about 80 miles an hour um, and effectively just snapped my leg off. The doctors just laid it straight. He was like, mate, you're going to be in the chair for the rest of your life. My accident was a motorcycling accident. I sort of woke up in bed and obviously I could see the, the leg was missing. I had a motorcycle accident back in 1985. My mum saw a very broken young man. Flying has really changed that for me. 1990, when I was uh, in the Falklands uh, on detachment down there, I had uh, my spinal cord crushed. I was told that uh, I would uh, probably never walk again and certainly never fly again. Douglas Bader was uh, a World War II fighter pilot, and uh, his uniqueness was the fact that he was a double amputee. I want to do something that will really raise the profile of Doug's name, remind people who he was, what he achieved and what he stood for. He was uh, demonstrating that nothing was impossible. He overcame his own severe disability of having two legs amputated and just getting on with his life. The plan is to create the first ever British disabled air display team. All these people are facing incredible challenges. Flying gives them freedom. I'm uh, Barry Hobkirk, 68-year-old uh, retired RAF helicopter pilot. I'm Alan Robinson. I've always been interested in flying and aviation since being a little boy. My name is Mike Wildman. It's all I wanted to do was be uh, a pilot in the Air Force. I don't think of myself as a disabled pilot. You know, once I get up there, I'm I'm doing all the same things as everyone else. The fact that you haven't got a leg or haven't got an arm or whatever, uh, that you can still, you know, do this sort of thing. When I was born, the doctors said to my parents, he won't do anything. I just love proving people like that. Yeah. So flying close formation with aircraft really means that you're at the top of your game. It's a big challenge, but, but they, they will achieve it. Disabled people are capable of pretty much anything. The only limitations you have are not the ones that other people tell you that you can or can't do. They're the ones that you put on yourself. We are trying to change people's perception of disability. What we want to show is ability rather than any of our collective disabilities. I think it will be the most terrifying, exciting thing I've ever done in my life. I get to see Doug's spirit alive and well. Right now, I want to hop out there and I can see it in all the pilots we've got sat there. <laughs>